This is Coach Saban, head coach of University of Alabama. We just came off the National Championship run versus the unstoppable Tim Tebow. Where would you rather play? National Championship Alabama or Florida State? And I just hope, uh, you know, we get a chance to play Alabama and he sees me on the side and I remember who I am so I can tell him, hey, you should have recruited harder than what you did. Wait, 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 wait. Was that Carlos Williams, high school player, calling out Nick Saban? Yes. <laughs> A little bit of an early rivalry. He hasn't even gotten through the All-Star game, already picking a bone with Alabama. <laughs> now, if he were to change his mind, I have a pretty good notion that he's not choosing Alabama. No, no. <laughs> Alabama I... may not be choosing him. Wow. Oh. go over the middle. That one picked off by the man that loves to chirp, Carlos Williams, and he's feeling good, showing why he is the number one safety prospect in America and why they're fired up at Florida State. Look at him go. Well, I, I spoke earlier of the throwing windows dramatically decreasing, and right there, Max Wittick, who's always very careful with the football, does not have any recognition of safety alignment there. He never used his eyes and his chin. Remember when I talked about that? None of that right there, and it cost him an interception. Carlos Williams, though, did use his eyes. He saw yep. the ball coming the whole time, and close, he's got great ball skills, too. Something tells me he's going to go back to the players' lounge <laughs> and tell Max Wittick about that interception. We will see. Setting the tone for a great week of high school football, almost making it feel like a college football bowl week as we set the stage for the fourth annual Under Armour High School All-America football game. In the ACC, the Florida State Seminoles once again now under Jimbo Fisher with the number one recruiting class in that conference, number three overall. The Clemson Tigers with Dabo Sweeney, even with some issues on the field this season, they still are holding it down, number nine. And you talk about some problems, North Carolina has certainly had those issues away from the field as well. Florida State, though, they've got Carlos Williams, and Carlos Williams likes to talk. Carlos Williams, I go to Ridge Green High School for Davenport, Florida, 2011 Florida State commit. The reason why I like playing safety so much is because I don't like quarterbacks. Quarterbacks are bullies. Oh, I can beat you running this. I can often throw the ball here, watch your coverage blow up. You know, I hit the receiver. He's mad because you set him up. He go back to you, cuss you out. So, you know, it makes me feel good knowing I'm messing up. I'm, I'm inside your head messing up your game. I do believe I have over 50 plus offers from school. Florida State was cool for me because I grew up a Florida State fan. The first outfit I ever got for Christmas I can remember was a Florida State jumpsuit. Everything I wore was Florida State down to the boxes I wore when I was little. F-L-O-R-I-D-A. S-T-A-T-E. Florida State, Florida State, Florida State. Woo! Yeah, I like him. The number one safety nationally earlier in the show. Called out Nick Saban. Now number 11 in the black. There we go. <laughs> That's some of the hits he's talking about. <laughs> We heard him on the sideline talking about his size, saying, that's what they brought me here to, to do. do. I'm not this size just to go cover receivers. I'm here to hit people. And I think quarterbacks, too. He's calling you out, Tom. Lugano. Yeah, he is calling me out. And, and there's a potential for him at Tallahassee to eventually develop into an outside linebacker with that type of size. And then you factor in the safety class they have. Keelan Smith also on board. LaMarcus Brutus, who was a high school teammate of Keelan Smith, also on board. So they've got plenty of options at the safety position and how they want to deal with it. And with Carlos Williams' size and striking ability, could very possibly wind up at outside linebacker. And his brother is a linebacker with the Florida State Seminoles. Got to get the verbiage down before you know exactly what's going to happen. The play's coming in to Kyle Frazier. Robert Ford, longtime NFL assistant, uh, helping the guys out with their routes as they start to learn the offense. Nick Waysom in to break that one up. Waysom, the number two cornerback prospect in the nation. Florida fans thinking about the one that got away. He was verbally committed to play for the Gators. Now he says Florida State is the team for me. Well, he's going to fit the mold of exactly what they have <laughs> in a LaMarcus Joyner and a Greg Reed. Quick, explosive, short area burst, and zero height. <laughs> well, that's Florida football, the athleticism. It 168 is. pounds, but you can burn. Yeah, he can run, and he's got great, what I call, like, diameter quickness. You just draw a circle around him in that little area. 
he's going to be special because he can he can plant, and close, and turn, and change directions, and flip the hips. In a class where a lot of athletes at the corner position this year, the Josh Turner's, the, the Diggs, guys who are really more athletes transitioning in the corner, Nick Wason may be one of the better pure type corners yeah. in his class. No doubt about it. Comes from the same high school program in the state of Florida that produced Florida running back Jeff Dimps, another one of those guys that can just get up and go.